Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are interested in how I created this beautiful spring twist style, please stay tuned. I did install this hair using the crochet method and here is the braid pattern that I used. I have about 11 braids at the top going straight back with the middle part and then I joined those braids together to create about six great braids going straight back and then at the very nape I have four individuals connected to the rest of the braids. The hair I'm using is the Nala Tress Spring Twist in 16 inches by Janet. And here's a better view of the back of my hair where I have the individuals. And I decided to do it this way so that I can have the option to pull my hair up without it being so obvious that I have crochet braids. I'm going to start out by installing the hair on the bottom row. And I'm just using the normal crochet method here, nothing special. All right, now that I'm done with the back row, I'm going to pull it up and it, as you can see, it gives the illusion of individual braids when it's actually crochet braids. And then I'll just continue to install the crochet hair probably about midway and then I'll move to the front. Also notice in the back that I am spacing the braids out about a, an inch apart. That is because I want to make sure that my hair isn't too full once I get finished. And whenever I start installing the braids in the front, I will do them a little bit closer together to allow me to get the fullness I want without having too much volume. So for the back, this is going to be my stopping point for now. I'm going to go ahead and move to the front. And then once I finish the front, I'll go in and fill in spaces as needed. Now notice that I am inserting the needle from the top and that is because I've learned that it is very important that you insert the needle in the direction you want the hair to fall. So I want my hair to fall towards my ear so I am inserting the needle from the top to where it's pointing towards my ear. Now this allows for the crochet hair to lay flatter on your cornrow because it puts the knot at the bottom of the cornrow um, opposed to on top of it. Okay, now I've finally gotten to my part and for my part I'm going to leave little to no space in between the twists to make sure that I have full braid coverage. Alright, I am finally completely done with the top and I'm going to turn around so that you can see that the area that I did not fill in the back is now mostly covered. 
but there are some areas where my braids are showing so I'm going to fill those in and then I'll be back to shape my hair up a bit with some scissors and then show you guys the finished look. And this is the final look. It came out really, really cute. If I were to pull it up in a ponytail, this is what the back would look like. And even though I opted to do a middle part, I still have the option of wearing my part on either side. I ended up using seven packs of hair. I would not recommend using any, anything less than that. And if I were to compare this to the normal spring twist hair that I use for my individual braids, I would say this hair is a little bit coarser and it's not as soft as the hair I'm used to, but it's still lightweight and very manageable. I haven't had any issues out of it. Um, I will definitely be removing and washing and reinstalling this hair. And um, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave more details down below. And please don't hesitate to leave any questions and comments. See you next time.